What's going on guys? Welcome back to Comic Scene. If you guys are curious to know what's going on here in the Zine Tower, stay tuned and we'll dive in. What's going on guys? Welcome back. This is a new segment I'm doing that I'm going to be doing once a month where I talk about all things genre and pop culture and what's going on in the in the world of comic books and uh, got some breaking news. So I use this app called Comic News and it's a source app that grabs articles all over the spectrum that is the internet and compiles them onto one app to where you can go and it's a source app so it's articles from like comicbook.com or IGN or The Nerdist or comic book resources. I got two articles that I want to talk about that I kind of read and I just want to kind of touch base on them and in this video I'm going to be talking about all these trailers. I mean it's like it's like the highway with all these tractor trailers but it's trailers for movies and shows and all the good stuff. I mean it's 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 a good time to be a comic book slash nerdy pop culture fan of this genre because this is like this is like the golden age. Let's dive into these two articles, shall we? So the two articles that I want to talk about, one was through comicbook.com and the other one was through IGN. So they both have to do with John Constantine Hellblazer. Now if you guys aren't familiar with John Constantine, he is a pretty much a fighter of demons and his soul is damned to hell already and he goes around using like supernatural pat like uh, abilities and like spells and incantations and things like that and pretty much fights demons kicks their ass and back to hell so that's John Constantine now if you guys remember there was a John Constantine TV show that was on NBC that got canned. Now, I thought it was great. I loved John Constantine in the comics, and he's a great Vertigo character, and Vertigo is an imprint of DC Comics. You guys probably already know that, because you guys are comic book fans like I am. Uh, the movie that they put out with Keanu Reeves, eh, it was alright, but it wasn't, it, wasn't, it wasn't that good. It didn't really, he wasn't British, he had blonde hair, he didn't look like Sting. Anyway, uh, the guy that played John Constantine in that show on the NBC, He's coming back, and he's doing a voiceover of John Constantine on an animated series on the CW Seed. Now, the CW Seed, if you go to the website, you can go to the Seed, and you can watch all these, like, animated shows slash, like, little web series like Blade and stuff like that and Vixen. I never checked out Blade. I'd like to. It looks pretty interesting. The other article that I read about John Constantine is that he's going to be making appearance on DC's Legends of Tomorrow. That's some CW news. I got some more CW goodness. Do you hear me? Do you see me? Do you see? So the DC's Legends of Tomorrow trailer. Watch that. It looks it looks pretty awesome. Like the the last episode. If you guys haven't been watching any of this stuff, just know spoilers. I'm gonna be talking about all kinds of spoilers. Of like the last episodes of these last seasons for Flash, Arrow, DC's Legends, and Supergirl. Supergirl I watched tonight, and it's pretty awesome. Like uh, you know, Monel left and. The, da the, the Dax mites are gone, and Kara's all, or Kara, rather, is all brooding and stuff, and this episode was alright for a season premiere, but eh, 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 eh. it's Supergirl. I mean, it's growing on me. So, anyway, back to DC's Legends. The last episode for that, you know, they defeated, like, the Reverse Flash, and got the Spear of Destiny, and all as well, they thought, until they come back to 2017, and there's, like, dinosaurs, and all these things out of the time stream, and they pretty much broke time. This season's going to probably explain how they're going to fix it. So that was DC's Legends of Tomorrow. Why am I talking like Shatner? Uh, on to Arrow. Arrow, where we last left off, you had Prometheus blowing his freaking brains out and blowing up the island that, uh, you know, all Ollie Queen was on. And all his friends are on there and they're all supposedly dead. So we're going to find out what happens in this season with, you know, like, uh, Felicity and, like, you know, uh, Diggle and Speedy and even Deathstroke. He's on the island, so we're going to find out what happened to all those guys. The show and Deathstroke, not anybody else. We'll find out on that. Talk about The Flash. So, where we last left off The Flash, like, I love The Flash. I'm on the bag for it, as you can see. I'm branded. That is, like, the epitome of a comic book brought back to, like, like brought to life. Not brought back to life like it dead but it brought to life like when I think of comic books anything movies television like I think of the flash because that is literally like images from a page thrown on to the little screen and it's it's just amazing however 
the last episode of this last season, like, they defeated Savitar, which turned out to be, like, the bad Barry Allen. He was a time remnant. Remnant. He was a time remnant. And they became Savitar, and they defeated him. And in the process, Harrison Wells gets killed, and they had, like, a small service for him to honor... Oh, oh, Harry, oh, oh, HR. But anyway... All this lightning starts happening like towards the end of the episode like all this lightning and it turns out it's the speed force and Barry's like it's the speed force I must go I must go into the speed force and I was like really that's it so we'll find out what happens apparently he's getting like a new suit it's supposed to be more badass I guess we'll find out what happens I'm getting caught up on my CW show so let's talk about some of these trailers that just dropped Oh yeah. Yeah, the Justice League. The Justice League trailer just dropped and I gotta say that trailer looked amazing. Like it showed like like happiness in DC and like jokes and Bruce Wayne, Batman was cra like cracking jokes with Aquaman and like and you had parademons and boom tubes and fucking badassness and I'm just it makes me happy and get, get my get my nipples hard. Now the trailer that I'm really excited for would have to be Star Wars: The Last Jedi. Now that the newest trailer that dropped, like this looks like a Star Wars movie we've never seen before. You know, like everybody bitched about how The Force Awakens, which I only saw it one time. Did I say that out loud? Yes, I know, I only saw it once. I'm bad, bad me. But hey, you know, stuff. Anyway. I still, I still loved it. The Last Jedi. This is gonna be a Star Wars movie we've never seen before, and you know everybody bitched about The Force Awakens, about how, you know, it was practically a New Hope, but I still loved it. I thought it was awesome. I'm like, hey, this is Star Wars. I can do that. The Last Jedi. It looks awesome. I can't wait to see Kylo. I can't wait to see Luke. I can't wait to see Rey. This, this, this is a great time to be a fan of this genre and a fan of pop culture and just being a dork. Everybody's a nerd. We Nerds have, inher have inherited the planet, is what I gotta say. So this has been my little news segment here on the Comic Zine channel. If you're digging these and you want to see more, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification button to let you guys know whenever I drop a video, and all my links are in the descriptions below, and we're keep diving into the world of comics and all things nerdy.